Hi guys, welcome back. I am Brianna and you are watching Purely Mixed. So today we have a little bit of a different format. I am filming on my iPhone XR and we're doing a whole other look today. So I figured let's try a whole different setup as well. We'll see how the quality is because I might end up just filming like this in general. As you can see by the title, we are going to be recreating Doja Cat's Vogue look. So I'm really excited. I was really inspired by it and just the whole like blood look I was really into. I might even insert some of those clips here-ish so we can see kind of like a side by side of what she's doing versus what I'm doing. I have most of the products that she used. Some of them I'm kind of substituting because I couldn't afford to buy all the new products. So the first thing it looks like she does is she takes oil and puts it on her beauty blender before wetting it. I'm not gonna do really any of her skincare. I did my normal skincare and I don't have the same oil as her, but I have a jojoba or jojoba. I don't know how you say it. I think it's jojoba. Jojoba oil and then just putting it on. Oh, I don't know where that went. <laughs> so I'll take two things of that. And she just said she put it on her beauty blender and then just kind of Wrenches it, I guess. And then she goes and wets it. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna wet this thing, come right back. So I went and wet my sponges. They're from Juno & Co, both of them. They don't feel super different. We'll see how it works out in general. Let's see what the next step is. So she's taking a concealer brush and she's color correcting, like a really peach pinkish shade and just applying that all under her eye. Cool, okay, I do that normally. I don't have the Becca one that she has. I'm using like a flat brush that she used and then I'm using my NYX um, Color Correct Contour Palette. This shade looks the closest. I'm making sure you guys can see that. Put that right where she said under her eyes. She applied it pretty thick, so. She even went up like a little bit, but she has a different eye shape than me, but not totally different. I feel like she has a smaller face. But. So she blends it out. And she was doing a bit harsher. I'm going lighter just cause it's me and I know my under eyes are gonna crease if I don't go light. Okay, so I started to dot it on and I forgot to record. So it looks like her next step is to use the Fenty Beauty Foundation, which we might be the same shade. It looks similar, but I'm using my Fenty Beauty Foundation in 300, directly like pumped it onto her beauty blender and then just started tapping all over her face. And I'm gonna tie my hair back. Go for it. Nose, chin, eye, but not eyebrows. I haven't blended with a sponge in so long. I don't hate it. I mean, I think with this foundation, the Fenty um, Soft Matte, it's especially good because it's making sure that it doesn't dry out on me and stay in place and blends out where I need it to. So that's nice. Weird that I didn't use a primer though. Like it was literally just oil. Like that was the last thing I put on my face before foundation. Ugh, I don't like my hairline sometimes. Like I wish I had a bigger forehead, which you know, the grass is always growing on the other side. Okay, next step, she said she uses the Fenty Beauty Concealer, so. Basically, it's a Fenty face so far. I'm using the shade 280, and she said she makes like a boat under her eye. So, I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm gonna just do that. Mine kinda looks like a banana. Dark circles eradicated, y'all. <laughs> she called it a soul patch. And then she does like a thing here, a thing there, and she sideways goes down her nose. I don't know how I feel, but you know, this is still not covered up. I'm gonna try to do this, see if that helps any. So then she blends out the under eye. Okay, oh, well she started with the under eye. So she blends under the under eye, which again, I'm going softer than she is because my under eye is delicate. And this concealer on me is like a really good brightener. I usually layer it with other things. Like I usually take like a skin colored one on top of the brightening, but today, we ain't doing that. Doja didn't say so. Yeah, okay. Anyway, and this concealer kind of sets into place. Make sure you blend it out pretty quickly because it's not a dry one. It's not like a matte one, but 
it does kind of stay where you put it. The next step, this Laura Mercier powder is my daddy. So I go in with my sponge. So then I put that right on my cheeks, just in the center, because I don't like when this is shiny. Everything else can be shiny. And I make sure that all of this is blended under here because I do have fine lines. This fluffy eyeshadow brush, like a blending brush. And then I press it in here. And this makes it so that none of that fine line shit happens. And we swoop. So, yeah. Okay, so she takes a brush. She's a flat foundation brush, but this is the only one I have that's like flat, kind of like that. And she gets really in there and she like blends out the little creases. Which is just kind of smart actually, right after powder, because that's like, it's fresh, you know? Like you can kind of just hit it before the madness occurs. That's a cool tip. Okay, one, what's next? Okay, and she uses the Laura Mercier on the rest of her face. Okay, so take my powder brush, go into the rest of the Laura Mercier. I have a lot in here, so I'm not gonna use that much. But she kinda, I don't usually use this one all over cause like it's translucent, but it's got a little bit of whiteness to it. I don't know what I'm saying, but you get what I'm saying. So she closes it, she shakes it, and then she opens it upside down, which is dangerous, but I mean, I'll go off. So then she takes her sponge and, oh, she creates a fake contour. Ooh, I like doing this sometimes for a snatchness effect. Effect? Hello? Snatchness effect. Yeah, so she goes. Creating a jawline. You could brush it off or you could just kind of blend it in. I don't think it really matters. She didn't show how she kept it looking white today. I might blend that out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is looking kind of crazy to me on camera. So I'm gonna kind of sweep this away. Okay, that helped. Okay, we got snatched without looking crazy. All right, what's next? I'm taking my bronzer brush and she says she's using Fenty Beauty, but like we're pretty similar in color and it looks hella dark on her. So I'm gonna use mine, but if it's d not looking as dark as hers, then I have something else I can try to kind of deepen it up. That's still a powder. My Sunstalker bronzer in Island Ting. I'm gonna take that like normal, swirl it around and, and I'm going a little bit hammer, hammer, <laughs> a little bit more ham than normal because she's got pretty contoured cheeks um, it looks like she went under her lips create a shadow i mean i'll take it back maybe she did use this one maybe but i feel like it needs to go like a bit darker i don't know okay she goes under her chin cool i look pretty pretty sculpted so maybe i don't need a darker one we'll hold off um it looks like she takes the bronzer creates like a shadow under her brow in her crease and my crease is kind of low, so I don't know if it's gonna have the same effect on me as it does on her, but. Oh, I see the difference. Oh, she, she made some points. Okay, a little lower, like closer to her lips, which I never do because I'm scared to, honestly, but I'm just gonna go a little lower, you know? It's, it's for the look. I mean, pretty, pretty snatch, not gonna lie. Okay, we're moving on to blush now. This is the part that I was kind of really excited for. She's saying, so she's going ham into the blush, dusting it off like three times, and then dotting it. Okay, so she's saying higher than, rather than lower for your blush. I don't have the same NARS blush, but I'm using this blush palette from Cookie, um, what is it? Cookie Professional. And I think this shade is gonna be pretty close to what she had in the video. If I need to tone it down, I'll, I actually think I'm gonna mix these two together to start off, go really light, and then build it up from there. She has a different brush, but I'm gonna use this one. I think it's gonna have the same effect. Uh, this is just my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm gonna tap into both of these colors. She went pretty high, so it was like, do, do, do. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Oh, this is scaring me. I look like a clown. We will 
figure this out. Okay, and then she packs it onto her nose. So I think using both is gonna be my best bet. Do I look sick or do I look like a clown? Comment below, please. What else you doing, Doja? Cause you scaring me right now. She said it fades during the day. Where? Okay, so she's putting it on the top of her lip. Okay. <laughs> Hello? I look ill. But I feel like not in a like sexy way, I just look ill. I don't know if I put too much. Maybe this is like too pink. I don't know, but swirl and hope for the best. Oh yeah, she also said to put some like on her eyelid. Yeah, no, she perfected the looking sickly look. So I'm definitely looking not in 100% health right now. Okay, now she's taking her bronzer again. This is a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush. So she swirled her brush and her bronzer and then she took this in the outer corner and just blended that in. She likes swirly motions back that rather than back and forth motions I've noticed. So I finished with what she had us doing for the eyes with the contour and or the bronzer. Let's see what's next. I think it's liquid blush. Okay, she took a dot on her hand and she pats that on the nose and then over her cheeks. I already have a lot, but you know, yeah, let's let's make it more. Why not? So she's using NARS liquid blush. I can't afford NARS liquid blush. So I'm using her Maybelline. It's called Cheek Heat in the color Rose Vibrant. I'm just gonna do what she did. She said she put like a little bit on the back of her hand. It's about the same consistency as the NARS. I wouldn't call it a dupe necessarily, but NARS is a little bit more liquid. I'm going to rub her out. I don't know if you can see that. And then she just like pat it all along her nose. I see what she's doing. It's kind of, I'm kind of making it more rosy and less uh, few. Wow, I look 1950s filmed Frosty the Snowman with the red cheeks. That That's what I look like right now. I think I went too hard because now it looks like I have a sunburn. I think if I went a little bit lighter, this might have worked out. Or maybe a different shade. Like maybe more of a rose shade. As of right now, don't love it. Okay, so now we're moving on to brows. I'm gonna use this the Brow Gal in medium brown. She kinda like, she calls them like Spock brows. And then she takes a little pencil, or not pencil, a brush like this, and she brushes that into shape. I don't know what product she's using, but I know what I can use. So I have this Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette in deep brown. And I'm gonna use the pomade from that to help kind of create the shape that she does. I'm back. I did my brows. I ended up using my Benefit brow pencil in four because I needed it to be a bit darker. Now we're about to move on and see what is next. Okay, she's taking her brush, going into the powder. Okay, and she's placing it on her brows. I've started doing it a couple times, but I still use like, you know, like gels. Like this is wild to me. <laughs> like all over my face now. So it's in my eyelashes, it's fine. You will figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna use a foundation brush because it's almost the same concept, like sturdy, but like soft at the same time. And she does, I'm trying to go lightly so I don't mess up the brow. Cause that's what I, I feel would happen when I do this normally is I just mess up the brow. I see what she means. Like obviously they're not gonna get shiny now, but I feel like it, I lose some of the color. So maybe if I did a darker brow and then did this over it, it would look perfect. Also, the more I look at this pink, the more it looks natural. That's how long we've been here. Okay, she's losing the Maybelline Lash Sensation um, mascara, but I don't have that right now. So I'ma use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Whatever mascara you got, I think would be perfectly fine. So she takes her highlighter, which she uses the Cover FX highlighter, uh, cream, 
liquid highlighter, but I found um, kind of a dupe for it. It's a True Match from L'Oreal Lumi Glow Amour Glow Boosting Drops in 507 Daybreak. And when I tested this in the store, it seemed like it was going to be a bit liquidy. So I have this, um, it's from Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. And I was going to try to mix it with this to see if it'll make it like a little bit thicker. So this is the Glow Amour by itself. It's really like highlight, but then when you blend it out, she like shiny, but she blends out like super sheer. So that's what I was afraid of. Since we have it on the hand, let's try it with the Mega Illuminator. Wow, that actually helps like a good amount. Wow, yeah, that made her thicker, like actually shiny. Okay, we're gonna use both. Um, and she takes a dot on the nose and a dot on the bridge or like right above the bridge. She takes more and she puts it like right up here. Ooh, oh, I put too much. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, I mean, we're gonna blend it out anyway. It's fine. Ooh, that's a really pretty glow. Okay. It blend it out, make sure there's no harsh lines because I just accidentally did that and I don't want you to do that if you are following along. She said to take her powder blush again and kind of go over it just so it's not as bright. As you can see, my highlight is whopping. She said use makeup remover and cotton to get her lips, I guess. Okay, so she uses a flat, dense brush to kind of buff everything back in, I guess. And then she uses the highlight she said on her cupid's bow. On her chin, it looks like. And then I'll tap that out. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really bright. <laughs> Wait, I put too much. <laughs> I think I blended it out mostly. That looks better. So that's looking a little crazy. But she said to use like a little brush. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. And she said to go into the blush again. Into the blush, crazy, crazy blush. And go over this top part. She said she wants it to look like you kind of were eating a popsicle. And then she did a little bit underneath. Okay, so now we're doing liner and I'm terrible at liner. So we're gonna try to copy her shape, but I might suck so. I have this liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild, Mega Liner. I've had it for a while though, so no promises. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Okay, I'll do the other eye off camera and then get back to you guys. Got my liner on. First try, guys. Literally first try. There's like one little nick that I fixed on this side, but that's it. This is crazy. So the next step is that she's gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm probably gonna take this fluffy brush I used for like around my mouth. Um, and she takes the blush again, works that into her crease. Takes a little bit, goes under. Okay, so next we're doing lashes. So no, we're not even gonna put it into the universe because we did good on our liner. We are gonna do good on our lashes too. She is using her lashes from Icy Wifey Cosmetics called Bay, but I'm gonna be using something kinda similar. It will work. Um, Samantha Number no. 7 Classic from Huda Beauty. And she actually takes like lash glue that looks like kinda like liner and lines her lash line with that and then puts her lashes on just let that dry down a little i don't know i just i'm just hoping and praying she's not as spaced out as hers are gonna be but that's okay i'm gonna do the other one off camera and be right back to you guys we got our lashes on they look pretty dang similar to hers not gonna lie i think hers are a little bit thicker but Oh well. So now she's adding like fake freckles with like this specific thing. 
I don't have that thing. So I'm using the liner we used from earlier and just being really careful and putting dots. Okay, so next she's doing something on her eyes called Icy Wifey Cosmetics Chrome Eyeshadow. Um, it's like a pinkish, bluish, holographic situation. Again, I don't have that one. But next best thing from my Game of Thrones palette from Urban Decay, there is this shade called Bend the Knee. It is this shade right here. And I think it's gonna do basically the same thing. Flat brush go into bend the knee and we're just gonna start packing that on to our lid it's weird for me to put eyeshadow on when i already have lashes on like it's so weird because she said hers is like pink with um blue specks in it and this one's like a lavender with blue specks in it if i add like just a dash of this bay of dragons color i think that'll add in the pink that she has she called it a peacocky sort of moment so we got the blues, the purple, and the pink all mixed in there. So she has like a deep, deep mauve um, lip gloss that she uses. And I actually picked this up. It wasn't for this, but this is from the Lip Bar. It's a lip gloss in the shade First Lady. I haven't used it yet, but I think it's going to be perfect for this look. Yeah, she puts it like in the center and then feathers it out. Mmm, that looks nice. That looks really nice. And this is our final look. I am shocked with how well this worked out. Like I keep looking in the mirror because I am I Doja Cat now? Am Am I her? Yes. You may now address me as Doja Cat. That's what's happening now. Back up a little bit. Zoom in. This pink isn't even bothering me anymore. We might need to get a pink wig. I'm not even kidding. This concludes our video. Um, let me know if you wanna see more recreating Vogue looks or anything you think I should review or do more cosplay. I'm trying to debate what you guys want to see more of and what I'm ecstatic about. Thank you so much for watching. I am Brianna. This is Purely Mixed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.